Hello teachers! Welcome back to my channel. It's me teacher Zen and for today's video will be another pertinent documents for teacher 1. I'll be sharing you what's inside this documents. This is actually the first step that you need to compile okay if you're applying for teacher 1 in the pet. This is my second time. Last year I've submitted one but no item yet. So this time, uh, they are asking all the applicants to submit another pertinent documents because our grades or the scores are back to zero because of the new curriculum. So without further ado, I'll be sharing you now. First page is this. Table of content. So I do have here letter A, letter of intent, and the last one is letter J. It is other relevant documents. And by the way, if you want to know how to prepare your pertinent document, especially the tabbing, I have made a video about that. Check it out, okay? Now, let's go here. This is letter of intent. It says here that this indicates the following information. So the statement of your purpose or your expression of interest. And then, uh, subject or group that you want to intend to teach. And then, name of your preferred school. So, this is my letter of intent the school superintendent name and then the principal's name and then your letter here and then don't forget your signature letter b is personal data sheet okay if you didn't have this one i'll be putting this link in the description of this video so you can just then load and then fill in the information in the personal data sheet all you need to do is to make sure that you do have your signature here for every page and then the last part of the pds there should be your picture it is not a photocopy or it is not computer generated picture it should be hard copy of yours okay and then just paste it and then you need to notarize this last page of your pds but mine i don't have yet because i will be doing it tomorrow <laughs> okay so i just filming today because tomorrow i don't have more time because after the uh, notarization of this I have to submit it directly so I just film it more, more earlier so again don't forget your uh, picture and then your signature and then notarize it here then here letter C your PRC license ID so photocopy of your PRC ID so I don't need to show that one okay you know that already next is letter D certification of eligibility uh, that is your rating, board rating of yours. You can uh, acquire this in the PRC. And then what else? Letter letter E is the transcript of records of graduate and postgraduate. Bachelor's degree of yours. And then if you have finished master's degree or PhD, then you can attach it here. So mine, I attach my... Mm. TOR for bachelor's degree and then since I am a unit earner I attach it here too and then uh, TOR of my master's uh, degree units since I've earned units in master's degree I think they are asking that one because you know it's new curriculum and they, I've heard that if you have only finished bachelor's degree that's gonna be zero points they are really requiring teachers to have master's degree because they will only give you points if you reach nine units in master's degree i don't know if it's really true but you will find out next is letter f it is the certificate of trainings so i've attached here three certificate or three trainings and then letter G is your certificate of employment I will attach your two certificate from okay ESL company and then certificate from the previous work of mine at the city hall and letter H is the teaching performance rating attached here is your 
uh, performance rating given by the admin, school, or your principal, or your head teacher. Because where you are teaching. And then, before your teaching rating, you actually, I mean, teaching performance rating, you can actually attach here your non teaching performance rating that could be letter H but me I don't have one since I don't have copy anymore so I jumped to teaching performance rating after that is the letter I and that is the trick list of requirements and omnibus certification so this is the time where the lawyer signed so here check less and then write your name and everything here just put a check if you have submitted it one and and then notarize it here again i haven't notarized it yet since tomorrow i will be doing that one not today yes because i'm still preparing and i'm very eager to share to you so i just you know uh film this one mm, but if your papers or your pertinent documents are already signed by the lawyer or Julie or it is notarized this is how it look like this is my old pertinent document yes and the last one is letter J it is the other relevant documents you can attach here relevant documents about teaching so mine if attach anything in here I attach this one social graces seminar other senior the teaching or well and then the bookkeeping and then i attach here the cab i don't know i attach here because i really have a lot of copy of this and i want to dispose and i don't want to throw it away so i just attach it here you might need it and then certification for the teaching certificate program the unit earner and then master's degree certification Alright, so that's all I can share about the pertinent documents for tissue one. So this is actually printed on paper and then I just cut it here and then I paste it on front of this blue folder since the division that I applied here, they require junior high school teacher applicant to use blue folder and then for junior high uh, for senior high school and then elementary are, are also different colors. I also attach here the contact number of mine so that they can reach me immediately or more easily. Yes, I think that's all I can share about the pertinent documents for teacher one for this year 2023 for new curriculum. Thank you teachers if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and enable for you not to miss any videos because I will be sharing you more about uh, the application process, yes, in the past. So just apply and apply <laughs> to that item. Anyway, let's, let's just wait and then uh, God will provide. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.